Hey guys, what is going on? It's me, Orbit here, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm starting my FIFA 18 career mode with Burton Albion, as you can see here on the board. I live quite close to Burton, um, so I'm going to start with the Burton Albion um, team as like my team. So, my name is going to be... Oh, I don't actually want it. Let's set it to... That last name is just going to be oh, I don't know what to do as last name let's just do that as last name nationality England I'm going to select this one and I always like to wear shirt and tie so there is our avatar done I'm going to be playing on legendary half length I'll make five minutes each um, which will make editing easier for me just download this latest update so hopefully you guys will enjoy everything um, and hopefully we can build a good relation um, and a nice career mode with Burton Albion. So here we go. Oh, I forgot about this. There's the new interactive transfer negotiations, which look absolutely amazing. Um, so I should be able to do a lot of those for you guys. Um, I'm also going to turn the game audio down for you just there. Hopefully you can hear me a lot better now. Um, because I can hear the game audio as well and that was really quite loud I'll turn it up just a bit to 30 um, so let's jump into this let's oh Manchester United sign Lukaku that's all fine we won't be really bothering about Premier League uh, this season I don't think I think this season will probably be about um, same mid table trying to keep up in the top um, top half of the table you guys and try and build the team uh, get some young players in and see where we can really go with Burton Abbey in this first season and see how we can do um, if we can get into Premier League in the first season that would be absolutely amazing um, but the ch chances of that happening are quite low um, Burton haven't got the greatest squad they've got a really good team of young players which is nice that would be really useful um, for playing in the season because we can rotate players but we also have players in the future and um, for future seasons that we can play around with try and build up through the training stuff so as this saves we're going to be jumping into Burton Albion so pre-season tournament yes I would like to and um, I'm going to go for the one with the most prize money always um, that will hopefully help us with our transfer budget which is probably going to be quite low um, due to reasons so let's have a look at our European uh, okay so that's nice chance to market our visions and expectations let's have a look at this then quickly youth development sign one play in your youth academy assigned to the midfield role okay I could possibly do that um, the brand exposure isn't that great. Just sell 50% of the tickets at home games. Um, avoid a relegation and reach the round of 32. Okay. Can probably do that. And reduce plays wages by 8,800 a week. Okay. That seems all good. First scouting report has arrived. Let's have a look. Um, I'll have a look at this in a bit. Oh, that guy, Tammy Abraham, will be a good player to bring in possibly. Um, I'll have a look at some players to bring in actually um, and see what we can do this guy actually while I'm here is a free agent but looking at his acceleration sprint speed and agility he's looking like a really good player that might be able I'm actually gonna have him scout further um, while I'm here just looking at it and introducing himself here we go these are our um, scouts these are our global transfer scouts so we will look at them a bit later as well so let's have a look at the team and see our squad here we go uh, I know all about this so here is our squad um, looking all right I guess um, hopefully we've got a nice depth to the squad yeah, we've got an all right depth to the squad. Um, not too great, um, I can see. Um, I'm actually going to bring Lund on for Nyla here. Just have him as a more defensive player. 
Um, and anything else? Ripley using gold by water. Ripley is coming on for by water, definitely. Um, Warnock instead of Flanagan, that's going to happen as well. So what I'm also going to do is, uh, in a minute, I'm going to build a squad just for competitions. So just for, um, yes, I want to save those changes. I'm going to build a squad just for, like, um, not the league, so any other competitions we play in. That is my idea. So youth staff and youth academy. So we want to hire a youth scout straight away um, when we can. I know our budget isn't great. Um, and we can probably only afford, um, I'm going to hire Reese Bennett as a youth scout um, and I want him scouting some youth players for us. So let's set up a scouting network. I want him to look more in the Spain area and I want him to look for, technically, I want a playmaker, I want someone in that midfield role um, and that's going to cost us quite a bit actually to set up that scouting network which is quite annoying um but there you go that's what happens i'm also going to in between episodes i'm going to hire a um scout like future star um i'm gonna buy one of them from the store and that's what we're gonna do but let's have a look at our transfer budget and let's see what we can actually do this season um, where is the transfer budget? This tells you how much I haven't played in um, career mode in so long. So let's have a look quickly at our transfer budget. That's what I'm trying to find. Um, wow, I really can't find it. This is quite bad. Wow, have I not played this game in that long? Um. Oh well, let's let's have a look at some of our strikers and see who we're going to. I'm going to look through these and I'll show you my shortlist in a minute, guys. So I am still getting back into career mode, so I'll be 30 seconds and I'll show you my shortlist in a minute of players I might want to sign. So I'll be back in a sec. So guys, I've just been through all of that and I have... Um, put some guys on my transfer and I'm just getting them scouted so I'll show you that in a minute but for now I think we're going to jump into our first game or maybe jump into um <clears throat> yep looks like we might uh, jump into the first game of our thing ja let's have a look at this guy actually um let's choose this I need to create my other team in a minute as well let's have a look at you um mm, looking okay i guess not great so at the moment i don't think i'll play him i think he's going to stay on the bench who are these strikers by the way boys what have you got um i think we'll keep Sordell on actually um his pace his sprint speed is quite nice and his stamina is a lot better so um what we're going to do is we're going to jump into this first preseason after i've looked at this um scout report ah it looks like the scout report has come in so we're quickly going to have a look at our transfer hub and I'll show you some of the people I have scouted. Now, Tammy Abraham, he is one of the persons I have scouted. Um, I'm still having him scouted, which means um, he needs to be reviewed a bit more. So let's go into this. And Tammy Abraham, let's have a look at you. Um, looking like some nice sprint speed and acceleration. Young player. Um, strength is really good. Jumping looks good. Stamina looks really good as well. Reactions. Composure, brilliant attack position, amazing. So it looks like this guy might be a good buy um, if we can bring him in. Um, if not, we might not be able to bring him in, but we might be able to get him on loan. That is the idea. Um, then I also looked into scouting this guy, Connor Washington, who currently plays at QPR. Um, his sprint speed and acceleration is great. Stamina is absolutely amazing, something that I'd love because um, I need someone in the team who's always going to be able to play up front with us um so i think this guy would also be a great person to bring in um from for the team i also had a look at this guy toshin abu a center back because i want to try and bring in some new center backs now his strength and jumping are really really good for a champions league team stamina is also great um so it looks like we could 
be having a absolute steal here. His defending is okay, I guess, but um, that's all right. Sorry, guys, just had to yawn that. Hopefully, we can bring him in as well. So, I'll show you a bit of them. But anyway, let's jump into our first game in the preseason friendly. I'm going to actually play this match. Um, and let's jump into our first game and see how we can do against Vassel. But uh, I have no idea. But let's jump into this first game uh, and see how well we can do. Okay, let's jump into this first game, guys. Um uh, Let's see how well we can do. Um, let's jump into this game. I'm actually going to turn that down a bit for you guys. So, let's go. Uh, first time playing with this squad. So, we'll have to um, figure a couple of things out. Um, see how well we can play together as a team. But nice little start here. Hopefully, anyone else going to run into the box for me. Looks like they're not. Which is quite annoying. To win the header at the back, please. Okay, nice. So, Murphy to Lund. Let's get some wide play going on to Atkins. Back to Brayford. Give it to Lund. Let's have a nice ball over the top to the left midfielder. Let's have some sprinting down the wing. Lovely turn there. Let's have a good delivery, please. I overplayed him. Nice turn, though. Lovely shot. Oh, that is so getting the finish there. Um, I'm actually going to turn off automatic game reduce so you guys can still hear the audio from the commentators. Win. Oh, so close as well. So close. What? What's happened? Have we got an injury as well? I really hope not. I don't want anyone injured in the first match of this season. Let's try and win that header at the back. Nice. Looks like they're building a chance here. No shot, please. Oh, no. Damn, that was close. They should have probably got a better shot off that. But we're lucky. We're carrying on. Um, and let's keep going. We're having some lovely, lovely moves coming through right now. We just need to finish them off at the moment. Win that header, yes. Okay, if he can hold it up, find someone on the wing. Damn. Okay. Nice aggressive start to the game. Uh, looks like we might be doing all right this season. I'm liking the team so far. Some great strikers. Um, some great pace in the team as well. Nice defence. Let's have the ball out here. Nice. Let's have it. Let's have it. Oh, no, that's not a great ball. Make sure they don't get through here. Lovely challenge at the back there. Shows that we've got some good control at the back. Lund storming forward. Good challenge there in the middle of the park. Oh, that was nearly a horrific challenge there. Drag Atkins over, try and make a challenge here. Make sure they don't get into the box. Just jockey this player. Make sure there's no cross either. Win that header, please. Oh! Good build-up play from the other team. Bring in some nice chances in for them. Let's try and win that. Good pressure here. Good challenge. Here we go. One-on-one -on -one with the keeper, I'm hoping. Let's finish this, please. Yes, okay, not the greatest finish in the world, but we have finished the first goal. We're 1-0 up in the first half. That's lovely pressure from us. Been coming for a while now. We had some lovely pressure. Um, nice challenge there and just slotting it into that bottom corner under the keeper's arm. Lovely from, I think, Sordell. That was our striker. No, it's Dyer. Even better, left midfielder. Brilliant. Here we go. Let's keep moving, keep playing, and hopefully we can get another second goal as well. Okay. End of the first half, guys. We are 1-0 up. Um, and we're looking really confident and strong. I'm really liking this. Um, all the team seems really good at the moment. Uh, everyone's stamina seems great. So, we will carry on. Make a substitution more into the second half. 
this opening match in the group stage. Well, it was and let's carry on putting the pressure on the other team, the keeper. Hold that up, play it off, play it off. Oh, it's trying to get the ball back to our cam like centre mid player. Looks like team had other ideas. Win that please at the back. Lovely save there by Ripley. Nice hands. Let's get a lovely long throw out. Looks like we don't have much height in this team. Not winning many headers. Um, something that I would like to possibly improve. Especially with our left. No shot right now. Good, lovely block. Lovely block from our defender at the back there. Um, I'll try and learn all the names as well, guys. Um, I'm not massive on all the names at the moment, um, but I'm trying to learn. So let's, let's get this throw in going out. Let's try and release Atkins on this right over the top. Lovely ball from Dyer. If Atkins can keep running onto this, this is, would be amazing. Good fake shot. Good pass inside. A lovely, lovely move. All rounded off. Lovely ball by Dyer. Whipping that ball over the top. And Atkins playing that lovely through ball back. Into the middle for our centre mid, Miller. Running through the middle. Lovely finish as well. Composure. Not too hard. Nice. I'm happy with that goal. 2 0 up in our first game. And looking like our team is really going to gel and bond. And work together really well this season. Um, so I'm quite happy with this. Looks like we'll be able to be challenging for, I would say at least mid-table, maybe even better with this team. I'm really enjoying the wingers at the moment. Um, and the play, oh, looks as I say that. Sordell is through for a third. The team is now 3-0 up in our first match. And guys, this is on legendary. So really I'm doing quite well. Um, I haven't played that much FIFA either. So that's lovely. That's a nice little play. Um, lovely ball from Miller. He's proven to be such a good midfielder. He's always passing, holding up the ball, getting some good through balls. And Sordell finished that lovely. Um, so let's jump. Let's just carry on. That is the end of the game as well, guys. 3-0 in the first game is lovely. Um, and I think that will probably be... A lovely start to the season. Really nice play. I'm loving the team. And I'm going to give my man of the match. Um, let's have a look. I'll try and see who I'm going to give my man of the match to. Um, I think I'm going to give my man of the match to Miller. I really like this guy. He got a, a pass. and a, uh, No, he got a goal and assist. Really nice passing. Uh, nice control on the ball. He looks like he's going to be a great player for us. Um, I think I'm playing him in the cam position at the moment actually but it looks like he might be a left midfielder but he looks so good in that cam position so i think i'm going to keep him there as well that is the aim i think uh he's going to get some training as well and we'll sort all our training stuff out in a minute so i'm also going to have a look at who we scouted seeing if any other scouts are coming in yeah we're playing miller in that cam role here um Wow, everyone's going up as well. That was a really good game to win. Playing Miller in this cam role, even though he's a left midfielder. But he's got some lovely pace and lovely vision on him. Um, so I'm really happy with that. So, let's carry on and advance through the next couple of days to see where our scouting offers have come in. Let's have a look. Now, Jack Singh, what's he looking like? 59 overall, not great. Sprint speed acceleration is really good. But I'm... Um, I'll have a look in that. Lucas Atkins. Is that my right midfielder? Yes, that currently is. And I'm afraid I'm going to reject that offer from Ipswich. He's been playing really well. Um, nice pace down that right-hand side. Um, so I really want to keep him there. So these are these top couple of players are the ones I scouted. And three days remaining on Tammy Abraham. But he looks like such a good player to bring in. Um... And so does this Tasso and Brado. So, I'm actually going to delete all of these. And make sure our club is looking good. Let's go to our transfer hub as well. And see if we have 
any more skeleton revealments at the moment. Doesn't look like we do. Um, and it looks like we are still looking for scouts to come in. Which means I might play another episode, guys. Um, our transfer budget at the moment isn't great. Um, but we've got a lot of weight. What's our currently currently weekly wages? It's 120. So it looks like we don't have much money at the moment to bring anyone in massively. So what I might do is for the first season, due to the fact that we're probably not going to finish great and we don't have that much money, I'm actually going to modify the budget and I'm going to make it more of a loan budget. We're going to try and bring some plays in on loan. That is my idea. Um, we currently have money to do that. So our weekly... What's our weekly wages? Our weekly wage budget is 37k and then we're current we've got 13,000 weekly budget to work with. Um so hopefully we can do something with that, bring in some loan players. But let's jump into I'll play a second game for you guys. Hopefully we're gonna jump straight into the second game and that will be the end of the episode. That's international management, no one cares about that. So let's jump into the second game and I'll see you in a sec. So, jumping into the second episode of our game, and we're playing the Belgium side, Cas S. Pen. Hopefully, we can perform like we did last game, um, and we can play really well, get another win, secure our place in the knockout rounds of this competition, because um, that transfer budget money will be so useful if we can win it. So, let's jump into this game and see what the team is going to be like. Sordell will try and get that off. Oh, Sordell. Running through the middle. Can he finish this? Oh, lovely. Lovely play by Sordell there. Um, nice little run through the middle. Looks like we're going to be using Sordell quite a lot. And possibly bringing in another player to play with him. I think um, that means that we'll have a lot more support for the striker up top. Looks like they've got a good chance now though. Make the challenge. No shot now. Good save. Goodness me, what is happening? Oh my goodness, that was so many posts. Goodness me. Let's go, Sordell to Miller. Miller back to Sordell. Hopefully he can charge now. Let's get a finish. Lovely, lovely finish there by Sordell. Lovely ball by Miller. Early pressure is actually coming from the other team. But we've just charged through and a nice finish there into the top right corner past the keeper. Sordell is looking like such a good player. I'm actually really enjoying playing with him. Um, and we're going to keep on building this pressure up on the other team. Keep forcing them back and hopefully we'll be able to keep a clean sheet as well. Um, nice chance from the keeper. Nice. Lovely last ditch challenge. Well, not last ditch, but lovely ball by Sordell. Miller is through here. Can we finish this move? Lovely, 2-0. Miller has just put us in front. We're now 2-0 up, which is absolutely amazing. A really nice team move. Really nice passing play from the team. And I'm loving this so much right now. Miller just running through. He's playing amazing in camp and he's supposed to be a left midfielder. So he, he can stay there. He is playing really well. Straight through the legs of the keeper. And that's just lovely play. Nice play from this team though. If we can just get this clear. Lovely save from Ripley. What a lovely save. Diving to his left. Really nice save. They're putting on the pressure now. Um, trying to get that goal back before half time I'm guessing. A lovely, lovely block there by the team. Let's get, let's get it away please. He did that actually. Oh they are putting on the pressure. Putting on the pressure right now. Coming on strong and looking to play their way through now. Oh, nearly made a horrible challenge. Let's make sure no goal. Oh, goal. damn. Well, They've halved the deficit just before half time as well. And it's, and it's a scrappy move, really. They've got quite lucky with that cross. A lot of bodies in the middle. But that is our first goal conceded in this series. Um, I'm not too bothered about it, um, but 
there you go. That's how it goes, really, isn't it? Well, that's been a very interesting first half. Both teams putting on really good pressure. But um, looks like we're 2-1 up at the moment. And we're trying to keep it that way. Um, I'm probably going to make some substitutions soon as well. Try and keep the team moving around. Um, I'll probably do that about the 65th minute. So let's just carry on. And um, keep this pressure on the team. Make sure that we keep the deficit at only one. And make sure that we don't concede another goal. That's unlucky. A lovely touch by our centre back, left back. Play that middle. Let's get some charging play down the middle. Lund has a shot. Oh, oh, just, just wide. That's unlucky as well. That was really quite close as well. Nice pass by Ripley there. Let's make lovely run by Miller. Still on the ball. If he can pass it through. Lovely first time strike as well. And that Sandel, our right mid, who has just come on, has just made a lovely first touch, really. I think that's his first touch. Lovely top right corner finish. And we've made that deficit now. Hard, well, we've actually extended our lead. We've gone 3-1 up. Nice, nice play from the team. Lovely ball by Miller in that centre. Showing some lovely strength. Um, and it looks like we might be able to hold out the win in this game and I think that will make sure that we definitely go through the group stages let's just make sure we don't concede another late on in the match nice build up play by the opposition here if we can just stop the cross right now no cross no shot good block oh my goodness that is so scrappy and horrible lovely save by Ripley probably shouldn't have dived in there Look, blocked, scrappy, scrap. Yep. <clears throat> such a shame. Such a horrible, scrappy goal to concede. And it looks like we might need to fight to hold out this game um, and keep the three points coming our way. So I'm going to turn to defensive right now. I want to keep this win. Um, pin the ball out. And that, guys, is the end of the game. That's a really nice game. Of 3-2 victory. Probably should have been more and we probably could have kept a couple more out. But that means we are through our group stage. Um, I'm loving this team at the moment. Some lovely passing play going down. And I think if we could bring in one or two players and to really solidify the team and have um, that extra squad depth to the team, that would be amazing. Um, so next time, guys, I will finish scouting all the players up and we will and be signing some players hopefully and playing the other two games in our other game in our group stage and possibly one in the knockout round so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode i really have burton are looking like a really good starting team man of the match definitely in that game i'm giving to sordell lovely challenges lovely strike um, and he really took that early goal which helped the team out amazing so we're just going to carry on and hopefully you guys will enjoy and watching the rest of the series. So I'll see you next time.